endometriosis tissue grows in response to estrogen in the proliferative phase of the menstrual cycle and stabilizes in the progestogenic luteal phase. During the menstrual phase, when progesterone is withdrawn, endometriotic tissues break down. Unlike the healthy endometrial tissue which leaves the body during menstruation, cells that die in endometriotic lesions trigger an inflammatory response. Macrophages and other activated inflammatory cells secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines, growth factors, adhesion molecules and nerve sensitization factors into the microenvironment of endometriotic lesions. Repeated cycles of this inflammatory process induce neovascularization, nerve sensitization and lead to the formation of pelvic adhesions and fibrosis. This causes period pain and bloating. These repeated monthly pain triggers activate the dorsal root ganglion in the spinal cord, causing back pain. Sensitization of the tissues and pelvic organs develops and may be experienced as bladder pain, bowel symptoms and painful sex. Somatic sensitization occurs when the pelvic floor muscles contract and tighten. Patients complain of stabbing or shooting pelvic pain, back pain, pain down the sides of the abdomen or upper thighs. This pain is disabling, preventing many from moving or functioning. Ultimately, neural pain centres in the brain are activated and central sensitisation develops. Fatigue is the hallmark, but headaches, nausea and brain fog can also be experienced. In some cases, anhedonia, depression and anxiety can be part of the clinical presentation. Although surgery removes lesions and pain triggers, neural sensitization may not resolve. Endozone aims to provide clinicians with information and tools to optimise treatment plans for their patients with endometriosis.